Welcome back, and I can't believe it, we're already at episode 6 with Sampdoria Career Mode. And on this episode, I thought that we're gonna talk about our attacking midfielders, or like we say, our shadow strikers. We are trying to play with two shadow strikers just to fill up to the attacks, and have been looking interesting so far this season. I, I will see if this is the way for us to play with two of them, or do we need to change it? But who are the players? We have Ebenezer Akinsamiro on loan, and a young player could maybe be something. Uh, I do like the speed he has, so we will see how much we will use him during this season. We also have our veteran, Gennaro Tutino. What can you say? present here. Uh, a younger Leonardo Benedetti. And somebody maybe for the future, I don't know. I mean, most likely for squad is a Serie B player. Could it be a Serie A player in the future? I doubt it, if I'm going to be honest with you. And then we have our Spanish young star, Estanis. An exciting prospect. This is the one I hope going to lead this team for the future and uh, I, I like what I've seen so far. Prime star, right? We also have uh, Nicola Secula, also a young one, 22 years old. Uh, together with Girelli, 23. Uh, these two are the one we hope could at least one of them be something for the future, but that's up to them to show us that, right? <laughs> Would this great sport be without derby passion? Two teams who know plenty about each other, but aren't very fond of each other. Live coverage coming your way right here on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Well, as always, I'm looking forward to this because both teams have strong aspects to their game. Both managers like to play attacking football, and we've got some good matchups all over the pitch. Initial 11 for Sampdoria. Well, it's a 3 4 2 1 with two players behind the centre forward, but they need to link up as much as possible. They're going to be key to the way this system works, otherwise, the centre forward could become isolated. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's a 5 3 2, really, because both wing backs are more defensively minded, which could leave the front two without any service from the wide areas. That could be a problem for them. And 
Adam Nodge. Real chance. And that is defending of the highest order. And playing it through. Oh, it's off the post. Just wanted to get it out of there. Good vision, and just has to remain calm. And effectively parried away by the keeper. So that will be all. The first 45 minutes have come and gone. A keenly contested first half. What did you make of the home side, Stuart? Well, that's another solid defensive display. We talked about it before the game, but they're just so hard to break down. But to win this, they must show a bit more quality in the attacking third. creative from here chance for the leveler in search of the equaliser and still dangerous oh really commanding goalkeeping well the fans are certainly playing their part here just listen to this noise the counter-attack is on, options available. No let-up here. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. Strong but fair tackle. And we are going to have two additional minutes. This could be it! Able defending, must score! And that, a piece of goalkeeping, you're going to see again and again and again. And taken short. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. We lost that one <laughs> just because we can't score. I mean, we deserved it. at least one point this game, maybe all three, but we couldn't score. And this is football for you. Some days everything goes your way and some days it doesn't. Just put your chin up and focus on the next one. anticipation have led up to this an occasion worthy of a packed stadium don't miss a second stay with us for every minute of the action a warm welcome to you and thanks for joining us for another game live on ea tv i'm guy mowbray to bring you commentary along with the former england forward sue smith we've got a game coming up from Serie b it's sassuolo and they face sampdoria well, thanks, Guy. It's great to be here. I think it's going to be a really good game today. Both teams will be well up for it, so hopefully we're in for a treat. Here's the Sassuolo team sheet. 
They are lining up in a 4-3-3 system, and with this, it naturally creates triangles all over the pitch, so it means lots of options for players. It does allow them to get forward and support the attacks as well. Here's the Sampdoria team sheet. It's certainly a 3-4-2-1 formation, and this can be quite balanced with the three central defenders, the two holding midfielders, keeping it quite tight at the back. But then when they go forward, you've got the three attackers and the wing-backs joining in as well to cause problems. after that possibly should have hit the target Fabio De Paoli promising looking ball real opportunity and a really good bit of goalkeeping to keep that out and on that whistle the first half comes to an end There's room to do something here. Now, can he get the cross in? And this could be. And the keeper more than equal to it. This could be threatening to take the lead. The goalkeeper ready for it. Really good stop. Matteo Lovato. This for the lead, and it's been missed. The goals just won't come. Oh, they won't. What an opportunity to take the lead so late on in the game. He'll be gutted he couldn't finish that. That set up the chance. He's in here. And the goalkeeper does what he's there to do. the final whistle very little to split the two sides over the 90 minutes and it ends nil nil Sue what did you make of it all yeah not the best game I've seen guy I don't think either team really played to their full potential the final ball was often lacking and the few clear-cut chances they did create they were just unable to take advantage of it's a bit disappointing really as I did expect more I also did expect it more of us Again, another one of those games. We had so many chances. We should have won this. No question about it. We should have won this game. But yeah, I can see sometimes we have a stretch of games when we are really tough with the scoring in the team. And I like the struggle. I really like the struggle in this year. But man, why can't we score at least one in this game? Mental fortitude and technical excellence. Both qualities will be pivotal as this important occasion unfolds. We cannot wait to find out who will prevail. Excitement in the air. Stay with us here on EA TV. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live. Hello, it's great to be with you. And I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And the initial 11 for Sampdoria. 
Well, it's a 3-4-2-1, but they can't allow their centre forward to become too isolated. And that will be determined by the two players in behind him. They have to affect the game and be the key players here. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's a 4-4-2, but with a number 10 playing off the two strikers. If he can find space, pick the right passes, and at times run with the ball, he could be the match winner today. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. And he might be through here. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Over it comes. It's still alive. Danger averted. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. Well, on the back of that breathtaking. He's in behind. Must be. And he's missed the opportunity to net the opening goal. Well, it should be 1-0, Derek. You can see how frustrated he is with himself. Well, they're almost extending an invitation to have them come at them. from that distance he's reacted so quickly and so it is the first half story has been written moving the ball nicely but can they forge ahead in with a chance Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. And second time around, he scores! But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Oh, great vision. Just needs to stay calm. Well, you won't see a better connection than this. It's a brilliant strike, hit with such power. What a great goal. <laughs> Able to skip past his man. Touch. And over comes the corner. Oh, powerful effort. Close. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Could be dangerous. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. And the home fans 
are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. Yes, finally! Two goals and we won the game. I mean, honestly, these three games, this episode, we should have nine points. I think so. But okay, we take these three points and, and yeah, we, we need to score. If we score, we will take the win. So uh, one game at a time, right? You say that and the season is long. We are not even halfway there. And so yeah, just look at it. We are fourth place. So I believe that uh, going into this season that we will be close there. So yeah, let's get it done.